right? When does a CQA go wrong or what are the problems that happen? It, it's like a skill and you got to get better and better at it. The first person when you're trying to learn CQA, the worst person that you could try it is with your spouse. Why, uh, why I say spouse is because there is too many assumptions and known factors about your spouse. So if you ask a question, immediately it comes up that, hey, how can you ask such an obvious question to me? You get it straight on your face back. You don't get an answer to that. You actually get a whack on your face yeah. because the expectation is too high. So that would be a classical example of at a personal level. If you want to get to the mastery of CQA, it's a very wrong place to start first over there. Now, if I kind of take the same analogy or the same, I mean, the same pattern into a corporate world, you can't. Like, let's say there's a very high level meeting happening and you're trying to present a, uh, after going through a set of workshops, you're presenting something finally to the CEO and very senior thing. You can't say, you know what, I'm going to do CQA now. Can you all tell me why we need to do this project? Yeah, yeah obviously that, that's, so, that's you're going to get banned right then and there, right? And non-start, yeah. Most probably like there's a good chance that if you get something wrong there, then your whole thing falls apart. Start off with something small. You don't do a CQA, something very fundamental and very core to somebody at a evolved stage of that relationship or that engagement. Or let's assume that things have happened. A project has been running for one year. Okay. And now you want to do a CQA. You don't do it with the senior most stakeholder. You start with the junior most stakeholder and you work your way through that. So I would, so. In a sense, it is like when you do a CQA, we need to be aware of the history of the engagement, the history, past experiences that needs to be there. And if you're not very sure, then don't do a very uh, deep CQA. So, for example, like, let's say, uh, let me take the spouse example or the CEO example here. Right now, if I'm going to, I have to do a CQA here. So the CQA can be something like. Um, as you're going through the presentation, you can do something like hope this makes sense at a very high level CQ. It's not an in-depth, like, do you think this is going to get you your hike or your promotion next time? That's also a CQ, right? Are you going to get your yearly bonus? Don't ask that to the CQO in that. Probably it'll say, is this presentation that we are going, is it in line with what you're thinking? Does it make sense to you? Or let's say if it's a spouse, right? And spouse is asking you to do something. You don't say, why do you think that is going to make you happy? Don't go there. Your first <laughs> CQA. There's a fundamental question. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is a good CQA, right? But then it is, it's too nascent to ask that. So you would probably ask, like, let's say there was a task given to you. You do some CQA around, like, for example, let's say like my wife tells me, go to the terrace and get uh, clothes and cup. Okay. And I kind of say, does me taking this curiosity going to make you a happy person? Yes, it's a valid CQA, but it is not at the right moment. Okay. So probably I could do a CQA, something like, uh, can I do it now? Or can I do it half an hour later? Right. Um, or, uh, uh, is it, is it that, do I have to get all the clothes or do I have to get only a couple of them and come? So or is it urgent? That. Is it urgent basically? Or is it urgent? Yeah, correct. So yes. that's that's something like that. Is it urgent? So so the CQA itself has got different levels to it. One is the depth of the CQA, how deep the answer we are looking for. And second, what is the time? And when we do a CQA with people, like uh, Janaka actually said that, right? Um, it kind of gets very tricky. It might be personal kind of a thing, right? Like in a meeting and say, will you get your bonus? This is what the hell do you care? You're a vendor. Just tell me whether the project works or not. Right. Okay. So we got to work through that. So start off with something at the peripheral and keep working through a little by little into the details. So, uh, I think that would be the way to avoid the pitfall is don't get in too deep at the first moment. And it depends on the, uh, stature of the person on the other side. So the 
to kind of make it easy right? the easiest place to do a cqa is with kids below 8 years of age below 8 years of age where they will take a question and just answer it but beyond that as the experience builds whether it is age wise job wise you got to get from peripheral to a deep down cqa right and and also it's the levels that's important like for example right if i am a technology let's say i'm just an enterprise architect and i'm sitting in a cxo level meeting the first meeting will not be an appropriate place for me to say what are your bonuses dependent on yeah okay but if i had a ceo with me he could actually ask that question in the first meeting so the yeah. script is matched so we got to be sure am i on the same stature as that person and that determines how much of cqa so if i'm at a lower level then i start with a lower impact cqa which is not that deep as i build my credibility and i work myself up it could be in two three meetings or maybe at the end of a two hour meeting i kind of he respects me as his individual then i can go in for a deep level if we explicitly state our intention that kind of softens it even if you make a mistake you can get away so it's mm-hmm. basically like instead of just like the example which deepak was telling does this project make sense to you right instead of that you can say you know what i am worried that i might not be giving something that is of value to you okay yep. i want to make sure that i am doing something that's really helpful to you can you tell me what would be the dangers that you face then they don't then it kind of easy so if you can set if you just lay out your intention straight at the first mm-hmm. that kind of gives you a let's say may not cover you but it's like buying insurance yep yeah stating your intention gives you buys you insurance so that's another thing that you can do